Barney Fife's Vespers a producer of record. When the brother team of St. Benedict's Kennels decided to part their separate ways, Barney Fife left the partnership with only one dog. A black female out of Ward's champion Thunder and Dowdy's Meanie and Dylan by Midnight Cowboy. According to Barney Fife, Vesper was worth every penny of the $700 he gave his brother. She became his house dog as she was the product of 20 years of his breeding. When Vespers was young, Sinner's Dam was put on her at Milk Incorporated Kennels and although Vesper was quickly picked up, she was the only dog to scratch back to whiskey. Bob the Slav, Kyle P. Pathfinder all saw Vespers was quickly picked up, she was the in full heat and ready to be bred, so Barney Fife said that he'd stop it if she would not start. He need not have worried, because she smashed into the chest and then the stifle as it became available. Brian did not know it, but the opponent Stormy was a one-time off-the-chain winner, co-owned by Kyle and Beach Boy Billy sired by Denny's champion Bo out of Milk Incorporated's trick bag. Stormy got on Vesper's nose and and got her out of her rear end. Vesper's tried, but could not get past Stormy's face chewing. The swelling was so bad that Vesper's was doublet fanged. Barney tried to unfang his dog, but there was so much blood on Vesper's face and neck, that it was like handling a greased pig. Stormy did a number on Vesper's face constantly sliding away from Vesper's charges and throwing her down while chewing on the nose. Vespers could only get a good hold when Stormy swapped out holds. At one dramatic point, Stormy came off the head and went into Vesper rear end. Vespers got into Stormy's rear end and the exchange did not last long before Stormy was back onto no trying to get Vespers out. At the 15 minute mark Vespers was windy and Stormy was not breathing hard. I was willing to pick up at this point, but Kyle wanted more time. Vespers was sucking down blood. But she never let being tired affect her fight. If anything, she beck a me more violent, actually shaking Stormy completely through the air. She'd pant two or three times in hold and then shoot for a good hold. Stormy did a good job stretching H.E.R. self back out of the seaway avoiding Vesper's constant rooting into the throat. They stick broke them and scratched three times each. Vesper's was like she was shot out of a cannon. You could not say 1000 and she was across with a thump as she pile drive Stormy and Kyle to her credit Stormy made each and every scratch. At the 25 minute mark Vespers was finally able to land, the heavy shots she was trying so desperately to land. Sheck was on a down Stormy with full leverage in the throat so it was stopped before I tay Vespers could really hurt Stormy. Barney Fife was surprised I see and saddened to learn that Stormy died later on that night from internal injuries. Vespers was biting extremely hard and just those few deep holds in the throat and stifle was enough damage to kill her. That was the second roll, Vespers got deep in the throat and chest immediately killing the bitch in 8 minutes. This time she killed a well-regarded bitch with a defensive style in 25 minutes in front of a lot of dogmen. Barney Fife received a good offer for Vespers, but refused it. In Vesper's first and only match she into was matched handyman vice grip at 41 pounds. Alan handles Vesper's, while Jack handles the buckskin named vice grip. Both bitches underweight. Two hard mouth bitches set an insane pace. Vesper's is all offense, but vice grip is destroying her face. Vesper's takes a terrible face chewing and is fanged, but comes back hard in the chest and throat. At 28 minutes James concedes the match. Vice Grip refuses her courtesy scratch. Vespers acting like she was literally losing her mind. Vespers shoots out of the corner like a bullet headed to a target for her courtesy scratch. Vespers won best in show trophy, and her son won gamest in show. Last I heard she was bred to a son of Banjo and was then spayed. I am not sure about the spaying, but I am pretty sure. Extreme kennels have this blood. Close and it would go great with panther blood and the dogs are all a bulldog should be. Test wanted to throw some top honest quality dogs and kennels whom to deal with, whom I personally would or have dealt with. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more great gamebred pitbull hall of fame videos, press the bell icon to receive all video notifications from the channel, and don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching.